Hey everybody, this is Brian at Obedia, and I've got an Ableton quick tip for you today that I think you'll find really useful in your productions. One of the great things about Ableton is that as you create with it, you are able to basically move clips around, create new clips uh, kind of at a whim, and really be very creative on the fly. But of course, at some point or another, you want to start bringing some order to things and you want to start organizing your song and creating your song. And so, of course, we are all familiar with using clips. And each clip, of course, can be a piece of audio or, of course, a piece of recorded MIDI data. Now, in conjunction with clips, we also have access to scenes. And scenes are launched over here on the right side of our session view. And so here in the session view, of course, we can launch scenes. And if we launch a scene, let's say if I launch scene three right now. So you can see what happens if I launch scene three. This causes all of the clips that are in the row that scene three is related to, to become active and start playing. So, of course, as you are creating in Ableton, you're probably not always going to be launching scenes. You're probably more than likely going to be launching more than one clip at a time, each outside of the respective row for your scene. So you might launch one here. So your workflow might look something like that, but let's say that you find that you really enjoy the combination of a group of clips and you want to turn all of those into a scene. Well, it's really easy to do. Rather than clicking and dragging and dropping a bunch of clips into an empty scene, which can get a little bit cumbersome depending on the size of your Ableton project, all you need to do is find an empty scene, right click, and then select the option for capture and insert scene. What this is going to do is it's going to take all of the active clips and it's going to put them all into the scene which you selected. So now I've consolidated all of those active clips into one brand new scene. Now you can also do this using the keyboard. On the PC the command is Control Shift and I and on the Mac it's going to be the Apple command key plus Shift plus I. So whether you're using the key commands or the mouse, this is a really quick way to be able to consolidate clips into a brand new scene, and then you can simply launch that new scene and continue on with your music making. So you can see how useful this is. It's very quick, very easy, and that's one of the things that I love about, a about Ableton is how quickly I can create music on the fly and then start to bring order to some of the chaos that can come in with making loop-based music every once in a while. I hope that this has been useful to you guys as always. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. You can get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor and find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor thanks for watching and until next time happy music making and i'll see you guys next video